Hey church, it's Pastor Sarah. I'm coming to you today to invite you to a very special worship service. The service is for Ash Wednesday. That will be Wednesday, February 22nd. And I wanted to invite you to the service at 6.30 p.m. Or if you're not able to come to the service, you can drive by Wesley West during the morning commute or during your lunch hour from work and receive the marking with ashes. I want to say a little bit about uh, the ashes of Ash Wednesday and where they come from and what they mean and how we go about doing this uh, particularly traditional ritual of the church. So first of all, in the Old Testament times, people often coated themselves with ashes and sat in sackcloth in mourning and silence, fasting from food and fasting um, from conversation in order to express their penitence to God. They repented and confessed of their sins and the sins of their community in the hopes that their humility and their sincerity would draw God's attention and cause God's heart to turn back toward them in mercy and in forgiveness. It was a very uh, important custom in Old Testament days and even into the days of Jesus. And anytime you hear in the Bible, for example, in the book of Daniel or the book of Joel about uh, sackcloth and ashes and fasting and prayer, it's referring back to that tradition of coming to God with full humility in confession and repentance for our shortcomings and for our failures. Well, that tradition has carried through the times of Jesus and into the days of the early church. And now we use ashes, not, not clothing ourselves with sackcloth, not covering ourselves with ashes, but just symbolically putting just a little bit of ash on our forehead, usually in the form of a cross, or sometimes on the back of the hand or other place where we can remember and be reminded that we too in our day need to be humble and contrite for the sins that we have committed and the sins of the world. So that's what we'll be doing on Ash Wednesday, uh, again, during the morning and the lunchtime commute over at Wesley West. You can come through the drive through lanes. You can get out of your car if you want to, or we'll just reach through and uh, administer a little ash cross onto your forehead. We'll say a prayer with you, maybe offer a blessing and send you on your way. Or if you're able to come to the evening worship service, it'll be at 6.30 right here in the sanctuary. And following an optional marking with ashes, you'll be invited to come forward uh, for the gift of Holy Communion. It's a very special service, evening services often are, and uh, we hope that you'll be able to join us and so begin your Lenten journey. So now for the question that people always ask me, so where do those ashes come from? Do you buy them from a religious products uh, bookstore? Well, you can, you can order ashes um, from a Christian supply bookstore, but I wanna tell you how we do it here at Wesley. In keeping with the tradition from the church from long ago, we save up the palm branches from last year's Palm Sunday, so that was what, 46 uh, weeks ago. Palm Sunday, you remember when we come in and celebrate Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem, the waving of the palms. We save those palms, I lay them out and dry them, and then put them together and keep them dry and preserved until it's time to prepare for Ash Wednesday. Then we take the palms and we take them outside and we burn them and we turn the palms into ash. It's kind of a, a fun activity to do. In fact, this year, we invited the youth to be a part of it. We read scriptures together about ashes and about fasting and prayer. We joined in prayer together in a reflection on the meaning of Lent and the meaning of our confession and repentance of sin. And then we set fire to those palm branches and they went up in a flash. It was a meaningful and a fun evening uh, for the youth. And I think they enjoyed seeing how the ashes are created. Once the palm branches are all burned, we sift them through, get all the crud out, grind them up, uh, make a fine, fine dust. And then we mix the ashes of repentance, the ashes of confession and mortality and humility with just a little bit of olive oil. Now, olive oil was also a powerful symbol used in Old Testament days. Olive oil was often used as a sign of blessing or of commissioning. Um, or of rebirth and new life. Uh, some of our youth remembered baptismal services where a person was anointed with oil as a part of their baptism. And so it can also mean blessing or commissioning or new birth. What I think is so powerful about the anointing with ashes at the Ash Wednesday service is that the ashes of repentance are mixed with the oil of healing and blessing and new birth. That's how God does for us. That when we come forward in honesty and sincerity to repent of our sin and ask to be put on a new road to be given new birth and another chance, God promises us healing. God promises us mercy. God promises us forgiveness and grace and hope. 
And so we receive the ashes mixed with oil as a symbol for all that God can do for us and especially has done for us in the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. I think it's going to be a very special service, and I invite you to join us. May God bless you as you prepare yourself for the season of Lent. I invite you to pray with me now if you would. Holy and gracious God, thank you so much for the rituals of the church that remind us of your holy majesty. Sometimes, oh God, the things that we do in church don't make much sense to us. We don't understand where the traditions have come from. We don't really know what they mean. And yet when we come to worship, when we receive ashes and oil and holy communion and the waters of baptism, we are reminded of the mystery of your great love and grace, reminded of the sacrifice that you made for us when your son Jesus gave up his life on the cross. And we are reminded that your mercy, your love for us endures forever. Be with us as we prepare ourselves for the season of Lent, for this time of repentance, a time of reflection, and help us to live new lives through your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thanks so much for joining me, church. I'll see you on Wednesday.